Hey guys, ever since Hardfire, there have been quite some home building mods for Skyrim. I've enjoyed a few, however, most of them just didn't work out very well for me, the controls weren't all too good or there was something else that I did not like about them. For example, too much traveling back and forth or too much materials together. Recently, however, I found two mods that could possibly be the best home building mods in game for me. Adrenar Crossing is a somewhat new building mod, which is something very close to what I wanted for a while. Adrenor Crossing lets you buy and build new homes anywhere you want, decorates these homes and mark them as fast travel locations in the MCM menu. To use this mod, you go to the MCM menu and find Adrenor Crossing. Here you find the list of new buildings and decorations you can buy here. After you chose and bought your home, you find it in your inventory. Placing any items and objects from Advanor Crossing in the world is done by dropping the bot item from your inventory. After you place your new home in the world, a new option in the MCM menu will be available to fast travel to that home. And you can have multiple homes in the world and you can also fast travel to all those homes in, the, in this menu. Adrenar Crossing has included a large number of decorations and lighting to choose from to make your home the way you want it to be. For this mod to work well, you will have to have another mod installed, which is the Cops Positioner. Cops Positioner lets you replace certain objects, rotate those objects, and even place them in your inventory for later use. This does sound similar to Jackson's Positioner, and in, in a way it really is. However, Astrono Crossing depends on Cops Positioner, and Cops Positioner has a few other features. The key layout from Cops Positioner is very well done for both keyboard and controller, and if one wishes, it can of course also be customized. Never have I seen a positioner that is this accurate, responsive, user friendly, and works perfect with a joystick as well. Let me give you an idea of how this works. First, you will have to mark an object with a new spell that comes with Cops Positioner. Once you mark the object, you can rotate it and replace it. You can also choose different degrees for these rotations. This makes the progress of placing objects fast and accurate. You can also choose how far you want something placed with each click. To make it even faster, you can choose to place the marked objects wherever you're looking at. And to make placing an object this way easier, you can mark another object. The object you want to place will now collide with the new marked object. After this, you can fine tune it manually. It also has a function where you can take multiple objects at the same time and relocate them all at the same time. If you don't like an object, you can just delete it, it will be placed back in your inventory on most locations. When an object has lighting options, Cops Positioner lets you toggle the lighting, and in some locations even choose different types of lighting. Everything that you see here is made in a few hours, and I, I didn't have much trouble with placing the objects. When I used mods like Build Your Own Home and Jackson's Positioner, this would take me a lot longer, with a lot more frustration. I'm not saying that those mods aren't okay, they, they are good at what they do, but I just found this more convenient. Cops Positioner and Etronok Crossing just really works well together, it, it's responsive and very accurate. I really like these two mods, they're definitely fun to play around with. There are a lot of items included already in Etronok Crossing. But I hope there will be added more eventually. I only showed the very basics and a few of the hundreds of items available. A lot is possible with these two mods. And what's more is that these two are very compatible with other mods as far as I've noticed. There are plenty of mods that could actually add on to this. Take Woodcutter for example. It lets you cut trees and make new furnitures, which could be placed here as well. And even if Cop's Positioner does not work for certain items and objects, Jackson's Positioner probably will. And these two can be used together, you will just have to uh, map the keys differently. If you are interested in this mod and want to try this out on a new game, only activate this mod after you made your character. If you don't, you will most likely crash. I'll probably be enjoying myself with this mod for a while and will try other building mods in conjunction with this. I really hope the author of Astrano Crossing will add more items to this mod. I have to say, the two things I did kind of miss in these two mods is that there is no search option or for the barter list on Adrenor Crossing. This could be very helpful, especially when more items get added in the future. Another thing I'd love to see is something like a duplicator for items. Whenever you want to place multiple of the same objects in a row, it, it can get a little bit tedious going in your inventory every time. Dropping multiple of the same objects at the same time didn't seem to work for me. I myself always been a fan of games where one can build homes, villages or even entire kingdoms. 
Whether it became like Age of Empire, Civilization, Knights and Merchants, Banished, The Forest, or even The Sims Building Mode, I spent many hours in them. I hope some of you can be excited as I am for these type of mods. I really like building games, so it won't be a very big surprise if I'd make a video or two on those type of games in the future as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, give this mod a try if you like, and I'll see you all later.